in the previous episode. His substantial support in the educational process in Kyiv led to the fact that the Kyiv Mohila Academy was even named the Mohila Zaborovsky Academy during the tenure of Rafael Zaborovsky. The Russian imperial family perceived Kyiv as a place where their ancestors lived, the historical place of the Russian imperial dynasty and the first capital of the Russian Empire. Accordingly, this gave ideological meaning and sense to all the trips that they made to Kyiv in those years. She was accommodated in the chambers of the Archimandrite on the territory of the Kyiv Petrusk Monastery. National Museum of History of Ukraine. Today it is the main museum of the country, which preserves more than 800,000 exhibits of the most different styles. Slightly more than a century ago, it was just the Museum of Antiquities and Arts, featuring an archaeological exhibition. During its existence, the institution has changed three locations and was renamed ten times. After almost 90 years, the Kyiv Art Industrial and Scientific Museum of Emperor Nikolai Alexandrovich became the National Museum of History of Ukraine. In August 1744, Russian Empress Elizabeth arrived in Kyiv together with her secret and most beloved husband Alexei Razumovsky. According to some researchers, unlike Empress Catherine II, she enjoyed her stay in the city on the Dnipro. Impressed by what she saw, she said loudly, Love me, God, in the kingdom of heaven, as I love these friendly and gentle people. During her visit, the Empress presented Kyiv Metropolitan Rafael Zaborovsky a very expensive gift. Empress Elizabeth presented Rafael Zaborovsky a 17th century French horse carriage. And until 1903, this carriage was kept in the courtyard of the Sofia Monastery. There are many different versions of why Elizabeth presented such an expensive gift to the Kyiv Metropolitan. Firstly, we know that Elizabeth was highly impressed by the beauty of the city of Kyiv. As such, it was in honor of her visit that the St. Andrew's Church was built on the cobblestone descent to the Padil district. Kyiv students that proclaimed solemn panegyrics and produced and arranged different dramas made a very pleasant impression on the Empress. Of course, this could not fail to flatter Empress Elizabeth. The Empress saw the ancient relics of Petrusk saints. Metropolitan Rafael Zaborovsky was a well-educated man and could easily win the hearts of people with his knowledge and sermons. The fact that the Empress had reserved carriages during her visit to Riga quite obviously explains why she was able to present one as a gift to the Metropolitan of Kiev. According to some researchers, such an expensive gift was the recognition by the Russian Empress of the highest leader of the Kyiv Church. Metropolitan Rafael Zaborovsky, who represented the cathedral since 1730, was well known for his positive efforts and contributions to the church, the educational system and to the city of Kyiv in general. Therefore, the gift of Elizabeth was the recognition of the efforts of one of the church's most prominent representatives of Ukrainian culture and the church hierarchy in the mid-18th century. 
The carriage as a gift of the Empress to Raphael was not a sign of her favorable relationship towards him, but a tradition. Because over a certain period of time, the Kyiv metropolis was subordinated to the Moscow Patriarchate. Indeed, when the Kyiv Metropolitan traveled to Moscow for ordination, he received a horse-drawn carriage from the monarch as a gift for his presence at the royal imperial court. Thus, according to some experts, the gift of the Empress was no more than a manifestation of the established tradition. By the way, presenting a carriage was far from Russian know-how, just as the vehicle itself, the Tsars and Tsarinas of the Russian Empire took the best from the West, which is so despised by modern-day Russians. The first horse-drawn carriages in Russia were imported, as well as the founders of the royal dynasty of the Romanov family. While the first representative of the dynasty, Mikhail Romanov, had Prussian roots, the first Russian empress, Marta Skavronskaya, better known as Catherine I, was a pure-blooded descendant of the Baltic peoples. Such great Russian emperors and empresses as Karl Peter Ulrich and Sophie Augusta von anhalt zerbst were Germans and are more known as Peter III and Catherine II. Before the appearance of the first European carriages in the Russian Empire, men rode on horseback. Once again, this is about the issue of the so-called Slavic past of modern Russia and its right to the legacies of Kiev and Rus. Together with vehicles, the authorities adopted many other traditions associated with them. While in the 17th century it was considered an honor to present a horse or some kind of precious sword, in the 18th century carriages were considered more honorable gifts. Carriages were exchanged between the authorities of states. By the way, the top officials could present carriages to their people. Obviously, here we're talking about some long-lasting tradition that was adopted by the Russian Empire, when the highest state authorities presented their personal servants with such an expensive gift. Not only does the reason why the Empress of Russia gave such an expensive gift to Metropolitan remain a mystery, but also the fact of when and under what circumstances it actually happened. Obviously, during her stay, Elizabeth presented her carriage to Rafael Zaborovsky. When exactly she did this is not known, and this fact was not recorded in special journals. The only fact that is quite notable and proven is the consistency of the events during her visit to Kiev. On September 5th of that year, Empress Elizabeth, according to the register book, was transported from the Kiev Lavra Monastery in Kiev in a horse-drawn carriage to the Sofia Monastery. The desire to visit the Sofia Monastery was not by accident. After all, it was considered the oldest church in Kiev and Rus, even older than the ancient Pecherska Lavra in which the Empress was accommodated. The Sofia Monastery was called the mother of all Russian churches since ancient Rus times. Russian Empress Elizabeth visited the residence of the Metropolitan Rafael Zaborovsky at that time, on two occasions, on September 5th and 10th. During the first visit to the Metropolitan, the Empress stayed in his place of residence until midnight. The visit included not only food, but also a business conversation, as well as teachings and sermons. On September 10th, Elizabeth visited the Metropolitan once again, and as written in the Chronicles, she gave him some very expensive gifts. One was Panagia, which was necessary for liturgical needs. There were no memories about the imperial carriage in front of the residence. But from later archives, we know that Empress Elizabeth also presented Rafael Zaborovsky her own carriage. Accordingly, taking this into account, this is the carriage that Elizabeth could afford to present to Rafael Zaborovsky. But it wasn't the only carriage of Rafael Zaborovsky. According to archival sources in 1737, 
the so-called wheeler, was also made for him in Kiev. Even the names of the craftsmen who made it are known. It was Anton the Carver and the painter Ivan. The cost of making this wheeler or carriage for Rafael Zaborovsky was 23 rubles. Especially for this carriage, a horse was bought. The cost was more than twice that of the vehicle, 48 rubles. But there is no doubt that the imperial gift of the Empress was much higher in cost. By the way, this was not the last gift of the Empress. Raphael received another one after the departure of his Russian imperial guest from Kiev. Later, on the way back, she sent Rafael Zaborovsky a barrel with 80 bottles of English beer. The Empress Elizabeth loved English beer very much. By the way, she was reproached for this in the Petersburg salons, as it wasn't considered a respectable beverage for the nobility. But she sent together with this libation a letter to Rafael Zaborovsky thanking him for holding such a pleasant reception in Kiev. As a matter of fact, it was such an intimate gesture, which testifies to the Empress's fondness for Rafael Zaborovsky and her positive attitude towards him. The Metropolitan could not fully enjoy all the gifts of the Empress. In any case, the carriage served Rafael for only three years. In the autumn of 1747, Metropolitan Rafael Zaborovsky passed away. For 39 days his body was preserved in the St. Sophia Cathedral and remained uncorrupted, which was a sign of holiness. Rafael Zaborovsky was buried in the St. Sophia Cathedral in a special metropolitan crypt, and for many years his coffin was open. Actually, many key residents truly believed that he was a saint. Many funeral dirges were held near his body, and there were even some miraculous healings. From time to time, information about miraculous healings was collected, and then the canonization process of the Metropolitan started. But World War I intervened, and after the war, the Bolsheviks came to power and banned this process. They said that there could not be any talk about canonization. Timofey Sherbatsky became the successor of Rafael Zaborovsky. The carriage was given to his use. Kyiv Metropolitans used this carriage until 1820, when Yevhen Bolhovitvinov took over his position. According to the recollections of those times, Metropolitan Yevhen stopped in front of the gate and came out of the carriage asking, I am not ill or something. Why are you driving me in this carriage? Let the carriage be parked right here in the courtyard for the sake of the future generation. But together with the Kiev metropolis, Sherbatsky, according to the old tradition, received a gift from the Tsar, a horse-drawn carriage. The metropolitans that took over his position also received the same gifts. There were a lot of carriages. Once we found an archival document from the time of Metropolitan Serapion Alexandrovsky, the beginning of the 19th century, where it described that during the time of Metropolitan Serapion, the Kyiv Metropolitan already had 13 vehicles, among which there were eight carriages. They were kept in a special carriage yard. Today this is the territory of Sofia Square in Kyiv. When the Kyiv Art Industrial and Scientific Museum was found, this carriage was passed on to the museum in 1903. It was given a separate place on the lower floor and according to the recollections of Kyiv citizens, at the time it truly deserved a separate excursion and even exposition. The Art Industrial and Scientific Museum was initially located on Hushevsky Street. In 1935, it was moved to the museum town on the territory of the Kyiv Pechesk Lavra. At the start of World War II, it was moved to Ufa, from where it was returned to Kyiv in 1944, to the present building on Volodymyrska Street. Not surprisingly, the carriage owned by Rafael Zaborovsky was severely damaged during the course of these turbulent wartime upheavals. In 1955, restoration of this carriage was performed, and even in certain places it was gilded anew.
Today, the carriage remains the pearl of the historical museum and it constantly reminds people of the historical visit of the Russian Empress Elizabeth to Ukraine. After all, it was during this visit to Kiev that the Empress laid the foundation for another revival of the Hetmanet in Ukraine. But this is another story.